Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So let us start over here uh, today with some more strange sounds. Remember the trumpet sounds we've been hearing? Well, we have more cases of that going on. The latest ones have been in California and Minneapolis. And so we'll start with California. Wow, that's a weird sound. Trumpets. Trumpets in the sky. This is my first time catching it. Wow. Wow, that's a weird sound. Trumpets. So that's not so strong as some of the other ones. We've... Trumpets. So it sound it sounds like that metallic humming sound that we've heard. Now this one over here is from Minnesota, and of course I'll have all the links for you guys to try to hear them. Much clearer. Right? That strange noise. Kind of that high pick metallic, high pitch metallic humming one, and this one's in uh, the UK. I'm very, very eerie. Almost sounds like two giant boats screeching up against each other. Very, very eerie. Really, you know, weird. So there's some of the theories they're talking about. Tectonic plates grinding, atmospheric pressure, train shunting, construction, aliens, harp, CERN, the apocalypse, and the seven trumpets of heaven. So those are all some of the theories. And so we keep seeing and hearing these things happen in various areas all over the world. We have another long crack opening up. This is in Kenya, and this one's 10 kilometers long, 6.2 miles. It's emerged on the slopes of El Gayo and Carpent and Western Kenya last week following heavy rains in the region. More than 10,000 households living on this escarpment. Uh, part of the western wall of the Great Rift Valley. So locals are voluntarily evacuating the area. And you know, been many, many similar events in Kenya and in Uganda. And so, you know, as we have heard, you know, the mainstream will tell you, well, this is gonna take millions of years for it to split. But yet we see these fissures and cracks miles long, six miles long this one, going along Time after time, you know, it, it's happening just consistently. And you can see all these cracks. There's a lot of rapid movement going on. And, and uh, with the rains that we've had, it doesn't help anything. So Alberto ended up being blamed for eight deaths and three missing in the U.S. and Cuba. And... Um, Yes, it wasn't a very strong storm, but all the rain that we've had and the flooding has been insane. And so it ended up being a deadly first name storm of the season. And uh, we will see what else will come. And incredible weather that we are seeing. And uh, Mount Merapi erupted again, this time 38,000 feet aviation color code red in Indonesia and so all these things are going to keep adding to the you know the ice age that's coming 
and that we're finding ourselves in this grand solar minimum and uh, it's just uh, it's just there's more and more things adding to this all the time my friends so we need to be as prepared as we could they found 25 more giant draw drawings in the Nazca area and so more of these Nazca lines uh, have been discovered and uh, you know one of them is a woman dancing which you can see here and a bear and so a whale and um, very very interesting because you know you can't really make these out unless you're flying or, you know unless you're either got a camera on a drone which is what they were using for a lot of this uh, or you're up in the air so how did they how did they you know figure people were going to see these it, it really makes so much sense with either an advanced civilization or ETs it has to be you know there's really not any other things that would make sense if it, if it wasn't geared towards one of the two things and uh, South Carolina is not known for earthquakes, but this small town has had three in six months. What's up? Actually, you know, uh, Charleston got hit by a huge earthquake, uh, 1886, yep. And uh, they actually liquefied the ground around there because the ground is all just sand down there. So it's something to be aware of. There could be extremely devastating earthquakes in that area because of the fault that's there. And also because of the way the uh, you know the way the ground is, so that was that was a 7.3 that they had in 1886 in uh, Charleston. 60 people died, many were injured, damage amounted to tens of million tens of millions of dollars. And uh, if an earthquake that size was to hit that area today, they predict 900 people could die, another 9,000 could be seriously injured, 200,000 could be displaced and economic losses could exceed 20 billion dollars so something to keep in mind the uh, Hawaii volcano prompts new warning heat evacuation order or face arrest as more and more people end up getting trapped and encircled by the lava and having to be um, rescued from above so mandatory evacuations the it's still ongoing it hasn't slowed down lava flow is continuing and uh, yesterday we watched a drop off in the amount of earthquakes as as you might remember me talking about we went from like 70 64 as a low in a 24-hour period uh, all the way up to 300 and something and and today we're back at 390 uh, we had a, a small eruption well not really small like 5.3 earthquake with an eruption and it dropped down so that relieved some pressure and we dropped down into the 150 range 170 range now we're right back up to 390 earthquakes and, and actually there's a lot of activity going on and also we have um, you know an increase in the solar rays coming in so that's going to that, that could cause the potential for some bigger earthquakes and some increased activity as well. Something to be aware of, 390 earthquakes in 24 hours is quite a bit going on here. And you can see it's, it's fairly well spread out right now too. And, um, you know, a, a big assortment of depths too. This one's negative 0.3 kilometers, so that that's basically above the ground which this is over towards Mauna Loa as far as I would think it seems like it should be towards Mauna Loa and we could actually check that let's see so that's going to be USGS let's bring up Google Earth here Because they um, they don't always match as far as what they give us. And I would not be surprised because it looks like it should be somewhere 
more towards Mauna Loa. And while this is loading and giving us all these commercials, let us search here. And you can see it's it's given us a different spot that's not quite where we were looking. But yeah, it's 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 over towards Mauna Loa for sure. So again, makes you wonder. Are we gonna see activity spread out into other areas? That's that's kind of one of the big questions. that you know I would have and so <clears throat> definitely something to watch there's a big uptick you know a likelihood there's 392 now the likelihood of another eruption I would think is probably growing and uh, as well as when we look at the rest of the activity going on it's it's definitely kicked up a notch so you can see a lot of activity going on around the ring of fire you know, we have not seen anything of a six or bigger in a long time. Lots of fives, lots of fours. And uh, like this one's very deep, 570 kilometers, 5.2. So if you listen to, to Dutch, he would say, you know, probably look for something in the low sixes to occur upstream. So either going up this way or, or coming out. And, uh, you know, like Japan would be probably which way it would go. 360 that's relatively deep as well so we'll see there's definitely a lot of things cooking we see again another 4.7 over here at Mayo so there's definitely activity going on with the rift as we have seen and we still have a lot of things going on with the military moves this is all about the Chinese silent killer lasers that can now eliminate aircraft as tensions with US soar and again they're putting things out there I mean they always want to convince us World War III is about to happen and uh, they love to create the fear and the panic and there are definitely some forces that probably would like to see it happen um, as we know but something to be aware of and I, I keep an eye on those things but I don't put a lot of energy into it and here we have another one of those absolutely crazy things that could be very concerning when you think about it and so there's another alert that came out like you can read this person's comment I live in Salem I got the alert I called members of my militia and we started getting ready supermarket shelves are stripped bare of bottled water in Salem Oregon after officials warned residents that tap water was unsafe for children and the elderly due to an algae bloom the head of Oregon's emergency management agency has apologized after a cryptic emergency alert was forced out two cell phones in and around Oregon's capital city displaying the words civil emergency and prepare for action but carrying other little other information so Oregon's emergency alert system blasted that alert but they left off the fact that the threat was a toxic algae bloom now was it really you know uh, you, you, you have to just question everything what's really going on here why are we getting all these alerts that are either totally wrong or there's something else why is everybody all across the country and including Japan and uh, you know why are they getting this wrong time and time again what's exactly going on here so as soon as people got the alert they just headed off and they just you know got all the water off the shelves in like no time and uh, you know this one resident set down a, a case of bottle of water wednesday after he was carrying it down the sidewalk and described the uneasy feeling of seeing the first alert arrive on his phone with an ominous warning but no other information it almost made me not want to go outside 
after the alert caught him at the gym and he had interrupted his exercise routine to ask staff at the front desk if they knew what it was about. I didn't know if there was something going on in the area or if there was a shooter. You just had no way of knowing. So what is really going on here? You, you got to ask yourself, what's going on? Are there, are there multiple agendas going on? Remember we had this go out, you know, uh, all about Hawaii with bal ballistic missile threat inbound. <clears throat> and then as it turns out, there were sources saying that that was not a fake alert, that that was actually real. And many people believe it was real. <clears throat> and many people believe that it was shot down by the good guys. But it was an actual missile that was being shipped, sent to Hawaii, you know, um, in order to start World War III, making it appear that it was like a North Korean attack, a false flag attack that was shot down by the good guys. Now, who are the good guys? Well, you know, there's different people that, you know, believe different things. And some will say this is ET intervention. And there are many of you guys out there, too, that said World War III will never happen because the ETs won't let it. So, I mean, I, I'm just throwing all these things out there for you guys. Um, you know, I, I have my own opinions, which do change, you know, because I'm going to be flexible as new info comes in. <clears throat> and so this was about the Japanese one, the false message that was sent in and went through, again, public broadcasters. And um, basically, again, a false missile alert. Or was it? That's what we got to ask ourselves. And then we had the tsunami warnings for Portland, Maine. And it wasn't just Portland, Maine. It was all up and down the entire East Coast, all along the Atlantic, New York, and, and other locations as well. And <clears throat> one of the things that Asia got when we were channeling and we were talking about tsunamis, because I was mentioning both the Helena slump over in Hawaii, and I was also mentioning La Palma and, you know, the Canary Islands area. And what she got was that those weren't things that were that we needed to worry about right now. She did see the potential for a tsunami and water inundation. and um, But she felt that it was more likely to be up along British Columbia and Washington... And then also up along New York, Massachusetts, up into UK and Iceland. So something totally different, totally, totally different. Um, and, and she felt like that could be something that happened before you would have any of those other ones. So this just, you know, when you get these things, these alerts, do... Are there, are there good guys, whether they are ETs or whether they are, you know, people in the government, people in different, different lines of service where they are privy to information that we are not privy to and they know and they're trying to get this message out to warn us that these things are in the plans? I kind of feel like that really might be the answer. I mean, that's kind of where my gut is going is that I feel like these things are warnings and you know they're they're trying to let us know now as we were talking about before especially with yesterday's uh, video about chaos magic there's also the possibility that they're trying to feed us these things so we'll help create them so it's it's a you know damned if you do damned if you don't scenario in some ways so we must always cultivate the uh, air of easier said than done uh, kind of not indifference but not allow ourselves to get caught up in the fear and also have good control over our minds so that we're not feeding it be aware and be alert but just like in meditation when you're trying to meditate and get your mind to just stop and thoughts keep popping up you let the thought pop up you acknowledge it and you let it go and you just go back to what you're doing so you 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 just have to notice and then release notice and release and don't attach emotion or anxiety to it and don't get frustrated so it's always good for us to know things 
but but don't allow ourselves to feed the negative. So we have to be, it's such a fine line. It really is such a fine line that we have to thread here because we don't want to be caught off guards, but we don't want to also manifest something. And, you know, you see it was in Boston, it was down in Florida, uh, it was also in the Gulf Coast as well that they did this. So it's very, very curious. And then, of course, we had the infamous power outage and zombie alert for residents of Lake Worth and Terminus. And Terminus was out of the, uh, the Walking Dead show. And Terminus was where they were heading to, uh, eagerly heading to, this is the, uh, you know, the cast of The Walking Dead, the good guys in the show. We're heading there thinking that they have found a sanctuary and a refuge. And then when they get there, humans were just trying to draw people in so they could actually use humans as food. And so it was not a good scenario. It was a horrible scenario. And uh, it was a absolutely disgusting show. <laughs> you know, it was nauseating. Um, but... Be aware, you know, this is, again, extremely unusual. And I still think there's numerology here. 7,380 customers involved due to extreme zombie activity. Restoration time uncertain. You know, 7,380. 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 8 is 18 1 plus 8 is 9 which is like completion culmination um is that is that something as well and is that some you know is there other coding in there and uh on this basically on this uh, there's more info that i've gotten uh from a source that wants to remain anonymous and uh I do feel like the source is a good source, but um, they they want to remain anonymous. And they had said that this is a message from the good guys to us. And that what this is all about is that if you remember that crazy uh, case of those zombies in Miami... And some of you had corrected me, too, because I, I thought that, you know, it was over. And some of you have said, no, 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 it's still ongoing. They're just keeping it down low. So remember, like, here, the, the horrific face-eating arrest in Miami and several other un seemingly subhuman acts, as many people wondering what's behind this flesh-munching wave of terror. And, I mean, this is real. This is real. This stuff happened. And, you know, these are cases of... You know, like in this one case, Rudy Eugene, 31, was killed by cops while in the process of eating almost the entirety of a homeless man's face off. And miraculously, he, he, he survived. And so, more cases again. Then on Tuesday, the 21-year-old of Maryland allegedly admitted to dismembering his roommate and eating his heart and brain. You know, these are horrible things. And there was a mysterious rash breakout at a high school in Hollywood, Florida, and other parts of Florida, which hazmat and disease control teams still can't explain as further proof that zombies are taking over. And zombie-like characteristics have been confirmed in the animal kingdom, not just in humans. A newfound fungus in Brazilian rainforest uh, called Ophiocordyceps Camponti Balzani is known to infect an ant, take over its brain so as to move the body to a good location for growth and then kill the insect. Yet, yeah, you know, the <coughs> this particular person uh, that they were quoting dismissed fictional viruses. Um, so, not that they're actually reanimating the dead, but literally we've seen this. And so the source that I'm talking about, what they said is that this warning that came out is truly a warning. And it's a warning from the good guys. And they feel it's the good guys along with ETs. So this is, this is good ETs hijacking um, you know, these, these broadcasts along with working with humans to give us a warning that is going to let us know that this this is what they plan to do. And when I say plan, and they, I'm talking about the cabal, the, the cabal Illuminati, 
and that they're in the midst of spreading something like that fungus or some sort of biological agent through the chemtrails into certain areas and probably here in Florida because this is where the alert went to and this is where they did it before and that that outbreak over there was basically them doing it through the chemtrails and it gave us an outbreak of that particular you know zombie attacks and so this warning is another warning that they're doing it again and doing it in bigger numbers so you know that's something you guys could take uh, with a grain of salt or you could run with it whatever you want to do with it um, the source re wanted to remain anonymous and didn't want to be affiliated with this um, so I'll honor that um, and you know it it kind of makes sense to me because I do feel like these are warnings coming out from the good guys to warn us about what's really going on and what's in store and planned and you know anybody that dismisses the fact that biological agents as well as aluminum and barium and other you know other metallic substances are sprayed up there in the skies every day and you know contrails are not chemtrails and chemtrails are not contrails they're, they're two different things we see the X patterns we see them playing tic-tac-toe you know it's obvious this, this is not just flight patterns here there's purpose and there's been numerous studies done that show there's biological agents being spread through the skies and there's been a ton of declassified documents talking about the weather modification and control. And we know they've done these things before. I mean, look at the Tuskegee Airmen. You know, there's been many cases of the government experimenting on military personnel and people that just don't even know it. And, and they've done it and they, they still do it. And because, you know, the government is controlled by the, the powers that be which are way above the government so realize you know they don't have any of our best interests in mind we're lab rats we're cattle we're assets that are very expendable so it's something and sometimes we're pains in the butts to them so it's something to keep in mind and uh, just be aware of you know and, and I do feel like this rings true I mean it, it, I'm not saying it is but to me it it vibes and it feels it makes sense so I just wanted to make you guys alert and aware of that and uh, you know you just don't know these are crazy times and like last night when I was here and uh, gosh I think it was close to midnight all of a sudden there was like bang 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 I and mean, it was probably like a set of maybe about seven or eight bangs and then there was a moment's break and then there was like another 10 bangs that rang out and the way they rang out I, they weren't fireworks you know so I went out and checked with neighbors and you know it's one of those things where you know this is not a quote unquote tough area or anything but somebody just came down the street and just started shooting you know and, and you just you just don't know and just take take you know all these different attacks that we've seen and it's a it's a kind of a crazy world out there and I think a lot of these random attacks like the one in um, Fort Lauderdale at the airport you know that guy seemed like he was totally controlled it, it wasn't it, it was almost like he didn't know what he was doing he was totally being controlled and that can happen and we know there's technology out there to do that take total control over people we see, you know, what can happen with all these different radio waves, EMF, uh, ultra low frequencies. You know, there's been so much research and development into these things from a military aspect, as well as these biological agents. You know, you just have to be aware of these things and be safe out there. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and again, no fear, just awareness, just awareness. So be safe out there, my friends and family. Much love as always. So please do thumbs up to support the channel. Share as much as you can, because um, definitely it, it, it feels like the powers that be are really trying to slow down the spread of the word. I, I see that in so many different arenas. 
and uh, so many of my other uh, friends that do this work in the same line uh, have, have, have found the same thing. So yeah, we're definitely getting blowback from the powers that be. So definitely share as much as you can. If you're new here, please do subscribe and make sure you click the bell for all the updates and, and double check too, just to make sure you are getting the updates if you are subscribed because some people have gotten uns unsubscribed uh, randomly and they don't know how it happened. So as always, my friends, may you be blessed with love, light, may you be protected and guided in every step of your journey. I love you guys. God bless and namaste, my friends.